Alright, as I was disassembling this battery, I noticed something looked funny on the top. And then I started looking down here, and you can see how the battery is here. And as it goes over, it gets lower and lower. So the distance here is different than the distance here. It's got this black piece here. And also, when I come up here and look at it, it's sitting up high. These batteries are supposed to be sitting... You can see where my finger is right there. It's supposed to be sitting down on this little plastic guy. And I'll flip it over and look at it. You see it. So you can see how it's not even sitting there. And then over here, it's sitting correctly. And then again, it's coming off a little bit. And then on this side, the battery isn't even in that piece because oh my god that's why because this is a bottom and this is a top because when you have these cases he put it back together wrong he put up like because this is a top and I know this is a bottom I've taken 100 of these apart uh, okay hold on Again, look, you got a threaded cap there and a threaded cap there. Something's... Yeah, the guy put it back together wrong. Because, look, I believe this is a bottom. Because it's got the threaded... Well, some, something's wrong. That one down there is definitely a top. I know that. Because it has the indications on it. So here's the one that's been messed with, here's one that is from the factory. You can see how it's sitting here, it's got the plastic there all the way across. Look at the top, it's got the barcode there, just like it has on the other one over there to the left. But if we flip it over, let's go take a look at the bottom. Okay, so the bottom does have screws on the bottom, I didn't realize that. But you can see how this is, it's pretty much flush. or Right there, flush over here, you can flip it over, and see it's perfectly square everywhere. These are very difficult to put back together correctly, and you can see this bottom bar and that bottom bar, they have a certain look to them that's different than the top bars, and then they also have this rolled corner here, oops, sorry, I can't see it. this roll corner here, sheet metal, all the way around, let's see if that's on the other side, on the top, Ouch. no, it does not, it, let me see here, no, it doesn't have any rolled, so if it's got a rolled section, it is a bottom, so, looking at this one, that is a bottom, but that is is a top. And again over here, that is a bottom and that is a top. Uh, another thing I'm noticing on this case is if you run your hand across, it's very wavy and the cells are off at different heights. So this is low and then this goes up here and that goes low here. So it's, it's, it's all over the place. And again, you can see here it's got a big air gap on that, and then it gets somewhat tight. So that would say, like, you know, it's, it's high on that side, and it comes down low, and then it comes up a little bit on this side. Yeah, it's not, I mean, yeah, you can see right here, too. Look, you can see through it. You're not supposed to be able to see through this. This is all supposed to be 100% encapsulated. And these cells are supposed to be these cases are supposed to be encapsulating these cells right there and so these cells are pushed over and down I I always wondered how people would put these back together and because I looked at it and I was like man it's gonna be difficult to put this back together you got to put supports on it you got to have enough compliance on the supports and everything it was gonna be a little bit of a, a chore and I'm seeing that people just throw these together and sell them which is dangerous so So as I was taking it apart, I was looking at it, and I was noticing a reflection. You can see the hump right there. You know, a hump, a hump, 
a hump. And what that is, let's see if you can get it like my, yeah, there you go. That is the metal bending. So each one of these cells is poofed. Oh my God, I've never seen cells this bad. Um, uh, yeah, this is, this is utterly terrible. I'm going to put this thing back together and be like, nope. And then that cell right there is hugely dented and crushed. So I'm going to show you on a good pack what it looks like in just a second. Okay, so you can see the ripples and the reflection. Those little circles right there. That's a hump. It humps up and then back down in the center. It's higher. Now here's a good battery that hasn't been messed with. When I feel this, it's pretty much perfectly flat. There's no hump in these cells. And so you can see we're both looking at the bottom. Although this one is built wrong, you can see that this arm is different than that arm. Again, like I was saying earlier, if it's got bent sheet metal on the bottom, it's a lower. But when it doesn't have bent sheet metal on the bottom, it's not a lower. So that's not a lower, that's an upper arm right there. I was put in the wrong spot. And you can actually see this arm right here has got that tab. That arm down there at the bottom has a tab. This arm has uh, gusseting right there and there. And on the bottom of this one, this one has gusseting right here and here. So, again, you know, look at this. There you go. That's a good reflection right there. You can see that the line is pretty straight. It's got a little, this one's got a little bit of a hump. Let me see. I can feel just the slightest of humps right there in the center. But most of these are pretty straight. When we come over here, I mean, look at that. Looking at the same, which was a roof line right there. It's the reflection on the roof. Pretty straight lines. You come over here, and they're all, you can't even see the roof line. I mean, it just bends. This one pretty much reflects perfectly. A little bit, little bit of a bend to it. Ever so slight bend, like on this one right there. But you can still, down here, you can see that it's pretty decent. Yep. And then this one, it's just, these cells are just so swollen. I mean, nothing is, is straight on them. And that, that roof line that you're trying to see is a straight line. It's the top of the garage. So here's the other side, and you can see that it's doing the same thing. It's, you know, looking funny, and I can just feel it. I mean, it's got a huge raise. I wish I could get a straight edge in there and get to show you how raised that is. I don't know if you can. No, I can't get low enough. Can't get close enough. Um, but I can just feel it with my finger, and it's just domed. I mean, if you just had to dome it like that. But you can also just see, I mean, just reflection. That's how they do fix a dent. Or a paintless dent remover is that they use long lights to make things smooth. So if we just move over, you know, all those look, are like that. And then move over to a good pack. And you can just see how the lines are so much straighter. They're not perfectly straight. There's a little bit of hump to some of these cells. Especially on, you can see like right there. Like this cell's got a little bit of a hump at the end, but it's still pretty straight. When I feel it, I can feel an ever so slight hump. But let's see right here. I'd say that's pretty flat. You can just see the line. The line looks pretty straight. And we bring that line up there. And those lines are all pretty straight. Going across, and then you get over here. And that right there, it's kind of straight. Let's see, let's feel this. No, it's still humped. I'm not sure why it's like that other than I'm getting straight down. Now if I look straight down on something, even though it's humped, I can get a straight line, but yeah, you can still see it's, it's just when I look straight, the re, that's a straight reflection. So when I give it a little bit of an angle, you start seeing it getting worse and worse. And so let's move over here, do the same thing. And again, you can see the line stays pretty straight. And 
these batteries are just you know right next to each other all on the same line so you can see that everything's about the same for everything so like right there you can see the reflection of the roof line but that's going straight up that's not giving you a good angle need I don't know if I could put something yeah so you can see the reflection of the wood right there and you can see my finger down there so let's go over here do the same thing there's my finger it's much more disfigured on this one so you can definitely see I mean the wood bring the wood over I mean it looks like a big V on these so let's go back over here and just make sure I'm not saying something's not true I wanna yeah so yeah this pack uh, was made by somebody else they put this wood in here my guess is is that wood is too thick for the cell and that just over crushed everything or these cells are just bad cells I'm not sure when I got it one of the modules bring it back down uh, it was either this one or this one was down to like one volt I tried charging them up and as soon as I put power to them they shot up to 30 volts I mean I, I just put in like a little bit of milliamps and all of a sudden the volts just jump straight up so that means the, the batteries are basically internally shorted so whatever power you put in it just goes to that voltage um, and yeah you look at this and this is actually I couldn't even pull this guy out because he's stuck in there underneath this lower support leg and you can see again this is bent sheet metal bent sheet metal means bottom uh, bracket like that bracket means top but yeah this this thing was put in there I don't know how this guy got this thing together uh, not well so